diversity, equity, inclusion is not decolonization. Um, DEI is just inviting people into existing systems where decolonization questions the l legitimacy and validity of this system in and of itself. A lot of uh, institutions are looking for what I call the super token. And that is a person who is so exceptionally talented in one or more different areas that the institution is able to get over in some ways their aversion to their identities in order to have access to that talent. And they bring them in as a super token to be able to say, hey, we're diverse. Um, but only wanting to recognize the fact that this person has, what, what makes them so exceptional is their ability to survive and adapt and to thrive in the systems that have been set to hurt them and oppress them. The whole point is that there aren't very many people who are able to make it through the gauntlet of those systems that have been trying to kill them. So what is it the practical thing to do is seeding space, bringing in true sense of inclusion. Again, starting with Indigenous first. And I always say that if you are creating a context in which Indigenous people feel a sense of belonging, feel a sense that they have of sovereignty and agency within that institution, then you have opened the door for everyone else because this is the community for very good reasons have um, reasons not to trust, have, have been told that they only can belong if they are assimilated and or dead, right? And so if they are feeling a sense of belonging, I assure you, everyone else is feeling a sense of belonging in that institution because you've dismantled all of the structures in trying to build that relationship of trust and belonging that would have kept everyone out and that would have kept everyone oppressed. Mm -hmm.